All right. I think that's it. I believe we are live. Let's just double check. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Let's just get everything transferred back over. Hmm. I don't need most of that. Eh, whatever. Good uh, morning, evening, everybody. At some time, somewhere. We're going to attempt to make a bit of cash in Dual Universe, to the very least get us to a million today. Or at least somewhere close to it. And uh, start working on some industry, maybe. Because I've done a bit of mining, and... Without going to a far-off planet that's like, you know, two to four hours away, I uh, think I've pretty much capped what I can make per hour when it comes to, uh, to cash. And I think it's time we learned, you know, how industry works. Because, like, I've tried making money as a space trucker, and uh, it turns out a lot of people are very loath to trust a random stranger. Alright, so let's see. Fuel. What about fuel? So we can make nitron, like, on us with a nano pack. What about Kurgon? Oh, wait, hold on. We're on the market. We need crafting. There we go. Sodium that comes from Natron. Kurgon, that's calcium. That comes from limestone. Chromium is chromite. Hey, Maurice. <laughs> hey, did I? Uh, not not the worst, I guess. Uh, I got a little pain acting up, but uh, I think we'll be all right. Very least push through it. All right, so Kurgon is a little pricey to build. What about a what about a space engine? Not really a lot of those on the market. Okay, so those are base screws and common screws. I don't even know what those are made in. Okay, that comes from copper and aluminium. Ooh. Okay, so what does copper come from? That's from malachite. Who even has malachite? I don't think that's going to be on this this moon. Uh, Elioth does. Hmm. You know what? Why not? Let's just let's just make a trip down to Elioth. So we'll just plot uh cores, doesn't really matter where we sit down. Hmm. 
And I still gotta work on that pilot view, so until then we're gonna be using third person. I mean, this isn't really like a, a full-on simulator game anyway, so... Wait for the engines to warm up. Hold ourselves in place with retro rockets. Ah, looks like they're warm. We can go. The, uh, the bigger the engines you have, the longer it takes for them to warm up to full power. So that way, like, your, your small ships, you know, are quite zippy. And the, uh, the big ones like these take a while. Hey, Joel! Welcome to the stream. More dual universe today. Been really enjoying this and figure we might, uh, you know, work on something a little different. As it turns out people are loath to trust internet strangers when it comes to trucking things for them. Unfortunately, it's a quick trip from the moon down to the planet. It only takes about uh, 10 minutes, I suppose. See, if I was rich, I could just buy a warp drive and I could warp everywhere. But, uh, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. that gets expensive. Actually, hold up. Let's, let's see what the market price is for a warp drive. Ha ha ha. Five million. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna afford that on our four hundred thousand. Hey, Tio, morning to you. Uh, Tio, not, not really, not very. Um, like, sleep is not a thing that I obtain easily. Like, even when I am dead tired, and even when I do fall asleep, I don't really stay asleep. Like, I'll wake up three to five times a night. So it might take me, like, 14 hours just to get, you know, six to eight. Like, I don't know who thought the idea of waking up tired was a, was a good one, but, uh, like, it's, I feel like, you know, if you put in the sleep, you should be rested, you know? I'm just gonna have some quick fun. Also, I, uh, I expanded the back end of the ship, so we've got our seating area here, we've got our, got our door. But uh, we expanded the bedroom, and I realized there was a ton of wasted space back here, because I knocked the wall out just to see what I could move around, and I uh, realized it was all wasted. So, we've got a little little bathroom and shower. Now, this is absolutely useless. It doesn't do anything for us. It is purely decorative. In fact, it's actually worse for us, because uh, it actually adds mass to the ship, but it, I think it looks nice. Hey, Larry. Um, not really. Um, just sleep is few and far between for me. And uh, with whatever's going on with my kidneys, it's been a bit rougher than usual. Still waiting to hear from the doc on that. So yeah, I have had. A time. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be affected by the orbit. I I could speed up here. This thing actually has pretty decent braking potential. 
Hey, Death. Long time no see. Uh, um, yeah, the little star whoosh things that go by. Um, they don't really seem to care about the uh, the inside of the ship. Like they just go right through. It's like the old quantum system we used to have in Star Citizen. I've thought about, you know, putting a window <clears throat> in there, but then I guess, like, anyone eva could just, just see you, you know, not using the bathroom, since that's not really a thing in this game. Uh, no, Death, here, one second, I'll, uh, I'll give you the tour again. And I've got to knock out these walls, too, because it's a little, you know, claustrophobic, but we've got our, our seating area. And, you know, you've got a door, so you can actually separate it all. My, uh, my plans try to spruce the place up. And then you've got your, uh, resurrection node, so if we die, we can respawn right here. Casual chairs, I don't, I don't know. Our bed. And then bathroom. And this is pretty much all sequestered off. You know, you've got your door and everything for privacy, not that it actually matters. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's all... You know, I just realized those doors are, um... Eh, whatever, it's fine. It'll be alright. Yeah, actually, I don't know what's up with these, uh, these chairs. Like, I think it's just, like, bad graphics, or they're supposed to look used or something, but... Oh, crap, that pun is, uh... <clears throat> Coming up a little fast. Sorry, let me uh, get our retro rockets activated here. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with the whole <clears throat> design on them. I'm not a fan. I don't want to come down in the dark. I want to come down in the daytime. We might just loop around for for just a second. If we can touch down in the dark, I just... I don't want to. Uh, death, so I did not build the outside of the ship. Um, I'm very bad. At construction. Oh, sh we are gonna burn up. We are gonna burn up in the atmosphere. Well, that's no good. I did not realize how uh, how close we were to the ground. The good news is, the tank that was destroyed was our space fuel tank, and since we're in atmosphere, um, <clears throat> we don't, we're not really using it right now, so, uh, that's good. That's good. Is there a market I can set down near? Ah, there is. Oh, it's, it's back that way. Uh, Admiral, I've never actually seen the game Among Us. You'll have to tell me a little bit more. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna sit down so I can turn this thing around. Ah, uh, actually, you know what? We can just... Now we get to wait, like, 10 seconds, 20 seconds for atmospheric engines to, uh... Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. There we go. Now we can turn. But yeah, Death, um, I actually bought the blueprint for this ship off of a guy. Um, because the thing is, like, I can work within limitations. But with, like, with a full sandbox, I have issues. Um, so I bought the ship off a guy. I gutted the interior. Uh, made it fancier. Nicer, I think. 
Um, get rid of a lot of the, uh, just wasted space, really. Look at that cloud tech. I guess we could try flying from the inside, but this is just a very... I mean, we can't really see that well. I'm gonna have to do something about this. See if I can make, like, a, a glass interior. But, uh, yeah, I bought the blueprint off of them, which ran me 200,000. And then the actual parts to build the ship out was about 4 million. Uh, well, Death, this is actually a, a light hauler slash transport. So, like, you've got seating for four, and really people can just stand in the ship anyway, but... The seats are nice. Um, we can carry... This thing is rated for about 120 tons of cargo. We could probably carry a little bit more, but, um, like I said, its recommended rating is 120 tons. Because your, your cargo, not only does your cargo have volume, it has weight as well. And your ship's handling is affected by that. In fact, your ship is affected by the weight of, like, your fuel. So, like, having a full fuel tank might not be the best idea. So, yeah, it's more of like a, a light hauler slash passenger vessel. I've made a little bit of money just hauling people back and forth between different planets, but that's like a, a 45 minute trip one way. I mean, it's you should have seen my first one. Um, the first ship, but I, I flew, oh, that thing looked like a, it basically looked like a, like a gummy ship from, uh, from Kingdom Hearts. Like it was a block, like a full on toaster. So, like, I, I liked the exterior of this one. Now, you can see those, like, square areas where the, where the lights are along the wings. I don't like those. I'm gonna have to fix those. But it's voxel, and uh, I am not good with voxel mancy. Uh, Death, I made it with mining over, like, two days. Uh, yes, Tio. So we can turn it off. Uh, we can go to like a of just a velocity indicator, which is our velocity. Uh, we've got velocity and thrust. So that way we can actually see what's acting on the ship. And then you can go to long range, which is pretty much what I always fly with. Very, very Kerbal esque. Hey, get her. You know, like every time I see like that first like, I just I assume that it's you. And I, I appreciate that, buddy. How are the smokes going? You keep it on top of it? You doing good? So let's check. Is there... Okay, yeah. It's gonna be free territory from the market, so we can go mining. Now, the thing that's going to make me sweat mining on this planet, you see this water. Water doesn't actually affect anything. Like, you can be under it as long as you want to, but it makes you feel incredibly claustrophobic. And I hate, hate being underwater in, in video games. I don't think anything else took damage. It's just our fuel tank, which is weird since, you know, it's on the, the back of the ship, but whatever. Throttling back here just a bit. Okay, landing gear is deployed. And we'll glide in. Upper engine should kick in any second. 
There they go. All right, do we have... Yes, yes we do. Well, it's tier one, but whatever, it'll work. Another happy landing. Oh wait, hold on. Actually, I got this working now. So it activates both my force field ramp and my door. Oh, right, I have to send it to my actual inventory. And this is going to be another slow repair since this is a tier one. Ugh. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna see if we can buy some better scrap after we get this aileron repaired. Because I do not want to do this with uh, with tier one scrap again. Yeah, like scrap is actually useful in this game. Like you actually have to to make it yourself. Like it doesn't just appear in in wreckage. But, um, you actually use it just for, for repairs. And there are people making a killing when it comes to just selling high-tier scrap. Hey. Oh, we just don't have enough scrap to, uh... You know what? I'm okay with that. We'll just, uh... Oh, yeah, let's check this out. Hey, this is nice. Someone actually knows how to use voxels. Oh, Ginner. Yeah, man, like... Grab, your, grab yourself, like, a inhaler, like, have you, does vaping help? Is that cheating? Can you, can you use that? I've seen, I've seen a lot of people who switch to that, and that seems to help a lot. Alright, let's see, what do we got for See him maybe? Uh, no local. Okay, so no to the calcium. Chromium. Ah, everything's far away. I think the issue is we set down at a market that's uh, not really traversed a lot. Jeez. Okay, so out of all the markets we could have picked, we picked the uh, the wrong one. Alioff 12. You know, we'll set that as a destination and uh, go ahead and buy from it. Ah, you know what, what's, how much is 100? 7,000, that's not bad. Alright, so we're going... 0.9 to 1 SU, so that's like 190 kilometers, I think. Man, look at you guys. I am proud of you for uh, for giving up the smokes. What? Mayday? Oh man, I wonder if that actually did damage to, to him. I hope not. Hey, 
Hey, Jimmy. Um, okay, so... I bought the ship, but I redid the interior entirely. So the outside is someone else's, the inside is mine. Like, I've made a few modifications to it, but, uh... Everything that I built just was not as efficient. This thing is way more fuel efficient than, than what I had built. Because the original ship I was running, I had slapped a, uh, a large container on it and tried to build it for like a 200 ton rating. But uh, my, my fuel burn was just off the charts. So I, uh, I bought a design off a guy and like it's it's all right like I've got a I've got to redo some of the lighting because you can see how blocky it is I'm not a fan of that but also voxels so I'll probably just hire someone who actually knows how to do voxel mancy to uh, to fix it but yeah uh, buying ships is totally a thing so there's two different things you can either buy a blueprint and like just build the ship out yourself with the blueprint or you can um, you can do what's called tokenizing, so you token a ship, which basically makes it unusable for the time being, and it creates a, uh, a key. And you can sell the key to someone, and then they use the key, and it becomes theirs. So it's, you know, their ship for all intents and purposes. So, like, you can actually make a shipyard. Uh, in fact, actually, um, where, where are we going? How close is District 3? Eh. Tell you what, once I pick this scrap up, um, we'll go to District 3, and uh, I'll show you like a little shipyard someone has set up. But yeah, like buying ships is totally a thing. You can also just make blueprints of your ships and sell the blueprints. Like, I bought the blueprint for the ship <clears throat> for like uh, 200,000, I want to say. You know what sucks is uh, I can't even go to low orbit because I have wrecked our, uh, our space fuel tank. Yeah, death. It's like there is um like voxelmancy is not something I understand. Like I will just pay someone and gain money to uh, you know to fix things for me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, there actually is land claims. So, like, right now, you see these little blue hexagons are going by. These are actually land territory claim areas. So if we zoom in, you see these red areas. These are actually owned by people. So you can buy, like, a, a territory claim unit and get territory. And you know, the more you buy, the more territory you can claim. So you can actually have multiple areas. Once the planet-based PvP comes online, you know, you can fight people for their for their places um, right now this whole area is PvP free all these areas there is ship to ship PvP so on planet no in space yes that's why we have a, uh, a radar that way we can look out for anyone coming our way and try to get away but yeah like so you've got they've only got the one system in right now you can go to all of these, though. So, we've got Feli, for example, and all of them have moons. Uh, you can actually see what type of ore is on each one. Safe zone altitude limit, if there's atmosphere, gravity. Uh, for example, yesterday we were at Thades. And Thades is ridiculous, because the, the gravity is low. It says it has an atmosphere, but the atmosphere is only like 50% thick compared to uh, this planet. So, like, you get there, and since it's only about 50%, your thrusters only give you about 50% power because they're Atmo only. So a lot of people just get there, crash into the ground, and then they hire someone to take them there, and then that person crashes in, into the ground. Uh, Laramie, it's on, it's on their website. Uh, it's Dual Universe. Um, I will say right now, be before you jump the gun, they are doing a subscription model. So you don't actually have to buy the game itself, but it is like $6 a month. Like, if you can buy a beta key off someone, which I don't 
think it's technically kosher, but, you know. But uh, if you have a beta key, you don't have to pay until it actually gets out of beta. Which is nice. Like, I, I bought the game a while back. Is that a runway? Like, I bought the game a while back. And then just kind of forgot about it. No, no, that's a surface issue. I guess we can turn these hexagons off so we can actually see. And the planets also have issues rendering sometimes. Like, that giant triangle out there. You know what? Actually, we could probably mine a bit since we are on the way to a marketplace. Yeah, Laramie, I'm usually not a fan of subscriptions either. But at the same time, I told myself, like, after all the money I've spent on Star Citizen, like, it's pretty much, you know, the, uh, the same thing. And that way, if I drop it for, you know, like a few months, I don't have to worry about it. It's a cute little oasis. Yeah, we'll see if there's anything worthwhile here, and you guys can actually see how the mining works. Yeah, yeah, Lirami. I'm, uh, I'm there with you. Hey. Oh, that's why it's not activating, because it, it died. Alright, so we also lost our force field in the uh, atmospheric entry. Let's see. There we go. Now it works. Okay, so there's two types of mining. There is the surface mining, which is these tiny little rocks right here. Uh, this is basically for newbies to kind of get their start, because no matter which rock you come across, it's only going to be 20 liters, which is chump change. However, if we go to our scanner... There we go. I think this will all be tier 1. Yeah, there will be. Since we're on the surface. Yeah, yeah, we took... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We did hit that ship, didn't we? Um, actually, let's see. Oh, yeah. That's that's what it was. And I don't think we'll have the scrap to repair this, but at least we can get it functioning. Yeah, I totally forgot that I, I banged into that guy's ship. Whoops. Okay, so, let's check out mining. Alright, so we've got our scanner, and basically, it'll either activate every few meters, or we can force it to, uh, to activate. Let's see, what are we working towards? Ah, uh, quartz, yeah, let's go for the quartz. And pretty much, if it's not going up in all directions, we're right on top of it. Uh, yeah, we are. Now, a responsible miner would, um, dig an actual shaft. What? Don't tell me the servers are dying. I swear, like, this game does fine, no matter when I play it. But, like, when I go to stream it, it just falls apart. I get her, it's probably fine. I mean, it was just, uh, it was just a stabilizer. Like, it'll be super easy to, uh, if it makes you feel that bad, or better. And now we're under the water where the creepy stuff is. But if it makes you feel better, we'll, we'll go back and, uh, repair it later. Alright, let's check our scanner now. Oh yeah, that's gone down considerably. Oh, Jimmy, no, no, no lava here. Short 
range, still above 40. Thirty. There we go. All right. So now we can switch to our directional detector, and this thing can pinpoint the exact location. In fact, there. It, yeah. No. Maybe. It's got a slight delay to it, so you can't just like sling it around. All right. There it is. So we'll just mine in that direction. Granted, it might also be pending operation because we're on the uh, the main planet where everyone is. I feel like we should have hit it by now. Hmm? We go past it. Uh, Ginner, is it? Like, yeah, I keep having to refresh the chat. Which is annoying, because I have to tab out to do it. Alright, so where did this... Where did those quartz go? Should have been right on top of it. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, like, there's already areas that just, like, strip-mined. Like, you should see my, uh... Aha! There... Mm, no, baby. Bingo. Okay, so, yeah, we went down a little... a little far. But, yeah, like... You know, it has to uh, to model that for everyone, and it probably doesn't actually do it until they get close. But you can dig all the way down to the planetary core and jackpot. Ah, look at that. You can actually, uh, you can buy these, uh, territory survey units, too, that you can deploy. They basically scan a hex and tell you all the ore that's in it and how much there is of it. And that way you can, uh, find out if there's rare ore there, or you can just sell the data. Like, it actually makes, like, a little data chit, and you can, uh, sell it to people or trade it. Which is, uh, really neat. Like, you could actually make money prospecting, like never actually mining, but just selling prospect data, which is neat. Those things are going for like 9 million though. So I could either like make my own, which, no thank you, or uh, save up for one. It's a huge vein of quartz too. I mean like there's, there's bigger We'll send that to our container on our ship. But yeah, like, I, I've really enjoyed my time with this game so far. And, um... Like, I've not done any of the industry stuff whatsoever. Like, the, uh, the manufacturing, setting up factories. Which seems like that's where all the money is. I've, I've pretty much just been a space trucker. But I guess, like, um... Probably not that much money at the moment. Like, I could join up with an org or something and make money with them. Like, I joined an organization called Rocketworks, but... I don't think their, uh, their play schedule is about the same as mine. So we kind of keep missing each other, and... I'm not really getting a lot out of it at the moment. 
Uh, negative death. There is no eating, no drinking. Um, you don't really actually even have to breathe. I mean, that might change later on, but for the moment, there's no, uh... Like, you don't actually have to maintain anything on your character. In fact, I don't even know if your character can take damage. Like, I know the ships can damage each other, but I don't think your character can take damage. Like, the only way you can die is if you're in a seat that gets destroyed. Hey, Hiroshi! Yeah, like... I, I like quartz because it's actually fairly low weight. Yeah, this is a massive node. I might just have to stay on Alioth more often. I've been gumming it up on the moon. I mean, death you could, but it would pretty much be like a, a social spot. Like, there's not going to be any, um... What do you call it? There's not going to be any uh, actual eating that I know of. Now, that said, I have not looked at the roadmap for this game whatsoever um i have yet to do my research so maybe that will be a thing in the future but for now you open up a gastropub it's it's purely decorative yeah this is a huge huge vein of quartz This will probably be like 200,000, I'm just guesstimating, as far as uh, income goes. Yeah, uh, Hiroshi, have you actually made it off of, like Alioth and Sanctuary yet? Uh, yeah, death. Like, if you're- if you're piloting a ship, and the seat you're in gets destroyed while you're in it, then you- you die. Um, when you die, you just instantly respawn at either your last resurrection node, or, like, on this planet at, um, <clears throat> one of the districts. So let me get a bit of water here. And the mining is a little tedious, um, especially because we're not really skilled for it. Um, there is a like a skill progression system, and for mining, you can make it where you can detect further, scan faster, or mine faster, uh, mine more. And I keep telling myself that I'm going to skip taking those points because I don't really mine, but I find myself mining all the time. So maybe, maybe I should. Hey, Vlad, what's going on, man? And see, we've got this container on our ship that uh, we are currently linked to. So as long as we're within, like, I want to say a kilometer, we can just instantly transfer stuff back and forth. Oh, yeah. Hiroshi, that's, that's my biggest issue. Like, I can make it down to Alioth with a full load. And leaving Alioth, not so much. Oh, Vlad, you work those late nights, don't you? Oh, death, you could. Um, I actually saw the, uh, the Planet Express delivery ship running around. So, uh, you can actually, you know, have something to, uh, to complement your suicide booth. Hey, off till next month, nice! What are you gonna do?
Seriously, this is like the largest deposit of quartz I have ever come across. Like, usually they're not this big. Like, we're, we might fill up our, our ship on just this one node. Yeah, Jimmy, like, the, the mining is, is pretty decent. Like, it's literally, like, a hot and cold hit-or-miss detection system. Uh, basically, I just go in a cardinal direction, see if it goes up or down, get it to where it's down, and then just dig straight down. And, you know, you can, you can dig your way out. Um, I kind of cheese it, though. I have a resurrection node on my ship, so uh, once I'm done with the, uh, with the deposit, I just suicide back to my ship. Now, when you suicide, you do lose everything in your inventory. So just, you know, look out for that. Whoa, Hiroshi, only 10 seconds? That was, uh, was that an extra small, you said? I mean, like, it's probably enough to escape atmosphere, but jeez. Like, I need, I need more than 10 seconds, you know? It's like rodeo levels of, of time. Alright, we are almost done. I feel like I find the mining pretty pretty soothing, so I might end up putting more talent points into uh, into mining. All right, let's just make sure we didn't leave any scraps here to throw off anyone's detectors later on. Uh, there is still some left somewhere. Uh, yeah, Tio, it's like the, the greenish golden lines. Okay, there is a tiny deposit somewhere in here. Aha! Ha, ha, there it is. Let's see where this dirt around it. Yeah, like, we could just leave that tiny bit and it would throw off someone's detector because it would show that there was ore there, just not the, uh, the amount. Okay, yes, that's, that's true of 20 kiloliters. So, nothing in our main inventory. Blueprints, blueprints today. So, we don't have to worry about that. So, we will force a respawn. We are back on our ship. Alright, I uh, still got our destination set. So let's go, go, go. At the very least, this will pay for the repairs. Yeah, Jimmy, like, oh man, the Truck Simulator games are just super calming. And like, the, the mining in here is very calming as well, because, you know, like, I'm not really worried about profit per hour, or, you know, things like that. Like, if I make money, great. If I don't, I won't do it. Yeah, Getter, what game is that? Uh, Death? I don't, I don't know. Um, supposedly, if you destroy the, um, the core unit on a construct, you can rebuild it and make it your own. So technically you could salvage like that. Um, now I haven't actually left the, uh, the PvP free zone yet. Like, I'm, I'm still a baby. Also, I don't have any guns on this thing, so, you know, I would, uh, I would get toasted.
You know, Ginner, that's a, that's a good point. Um, way, way back in the day, many years ago, uh, my mom was married to this Czechoslovakian truck driver. And uh, I went out on the road with him for a few summers, you know, trucking. And, um, you know, like, when you're in a regular car, you notice idiot drivers. When you're in a, a lorry, like, you really, really notice the idiot drivers. Because uh, it turns out, like, your, your brakes aren't instant. Like, you have to write, like, six to eight weeks ahead before you start actually slowing down when you've got a load. So, yeah, like, I feel like trucking itself isn't stressful. It's it's the, it's not even your coworkers. It's just the, the people you have to be around that make it stressful. Because you're pretty much relying on each other not to be stupid. And, um, I don't, I don't trust most drivers to, to not be stupid. I gotta say, we're not going very fast, but our, uh, our fuel burn is incredibly efficient. Ha <laughs> ha! Death! No, um, unfortunately, the, the original custody battle for me went through the, uh, the regular channels of the, uh, of the court system. Unfortunately, it was not as, uh, as exciting as an arm wrestling match or like the Air Bud movies where they have to stand at, you know, either side and wait for the dog to go to the one that he wants to live with. Like, I, I barely remember any of it anyway. Oh, yeah, again, or us too. And, and dear, like, I don't know if you guys have deer in your area or not, but, um, oh man, just like the, 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 the southeast of the U.S. I say that. Would that, Virginia, like, south, would that be southeast? East coast. You know, we'll just go east coast. So many deer. We are losing speed. Let's see if we can actually go lower Atmo. Pick this up a bit. Now oh, we're getting closer. That's. That's a bonus. It just ah, oh, it's so far out. I really should have uh, should have looked before I bought that, or at least looked harder. Yeah, again, that's that's fair. I just like you got that heavy load. Sometimes it it takes a bit to slow down, especially if you're on a on an incline, decline, whichever one where you're going down. Like, it's still an incline, you're just, you're going the opposite way. Uh, Jimmy, you can make, um, you can make, like, speeders, like, hovercraft, essentially. Uh, in fact, that's what they start you out with, is a, uh, a basic hovercraft-style thing. So, like, you can build hovercraft, they don't, you know, really lift off the ground a whole lot. But, um, as far as, like, things with wheels... Um, I haven't seen any of those yet. Um, I don't think they're in the game. I actually don't even know if they're making them, so... I would say Hovercraft is as close as you're going to get to a ground-based vehicle. Uh, again, that's fair. I actually had a, uh, a deer hit me once. Like, he was running along the side of the car, and I was just doing, like, 12 miles an hour. And he just kept, like, bashing his head against my car. 
I truly, I just feel like he was being a jerk, you know? I mean, Jimmy, you, you could, but you would just have to, like, put some, uh, some hover engines on the bottom of it, so it'd have to be, like, a hover version. I mean, you could still keep it, like, a foot off the ground. Or barrel roll, why not? Get time. Oh, yeah, see, now we're in, the, in lower atmosphere. Our fuel burn is through the roof, because we can actually burn it. Oh yeah, Jimmy, easily. You could easily get out of atmosphere. Uh tell you what, like I said, uh we're gonna we're gonna go to District 3 after we pick this uh this scrap up. And I will show you the graveyard of speeders and spaceships that are parked there. Uh Tio, that depends. Are you okay with getting it out of atmosphere? Oh, wow, there is nobody here. Uh, also, there's this neat little thing that I keep forgetting to turn on, where if you get out of your seat in atmosphere, it'll actually land your ship for you. Wait, wait, nope, nope. We installed this button for a reason. There we go. Actually, uh, while we're here, this might actually be a speeder. Let's take a look. Wow, um, this is a design. All right. Ah, uh, that thing can fl oh, I'm sure it can fly. That thing is back-end heavy, though. How does he get the nose down? That's mm, also a flyer, flyer, flyer. Yeah, we're going to District 3. There'll be tons of speeders there. Cool, Ginner, that sounds tense, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't hit the, uh, the little old lady, though. That's, you know, nice. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure she appreciates it. Uh, yeah, Tio. I mean, like, it is the capital class, you know, salvage ship, so... It's probably worth it? I don't know, like, what's, what's the price? 400 like, it's, it's fairly cheap for a capital ship or the, you know, nth tier of a, of a gameplay loop. Wow, 15,000. We might, we might be here for a minute, guys. I don't think there's any tier 3 scrap available here. I guess we can go check. All right, so note to self, pay attention to uh, to altitude. Oh, Maurice. You know, I used to drive a little red car. I had a uh, I had a red Geo Metro convertible. I missed that thing. I was probably the Suzuki Swift everywhere else. Yeah, Death, like, that's that's my issue. Like, I'm kind of... Like, I wanted to, like, change a bunch of my pledges around in, uh, in Star Citizen. But I don't want to put any more money into it, you know? Whew. 
Whew, this is gonna take forever. And we're out. We're out of scrap. And uh, I forgot. So let me let me see if I got any tier three scrap here. Cobalt? Nope. Fluorine? Oh, nope. Oh, uh, we're gonna be stuck doing tier two. I mean, it's it's better than nothing. Ah, it just sucks. Also, literally eating into our money. Yeah, Hiroshi, have a good one, man. Good luck in Star Citizen. Actually, let's get these repaired, too, before I forget. See, the neat thing is, if you're in space, you can actually EVA out and repair these things in, uh, while you're moving. Like 15,000 miles an hour. Oh man, Maurice. Ford Fiesta. That, that brings back some memories. Okay, so I got a question. Did people call it the Festiva over there? Like, was that, was that a thing? Did people actually call it the Festiva? Oh yeah, death. What uh, what's been posted? Oh yeah, that is out, isn't it? Or it's on on Ivicati. Might have to uh, go take a poke. With that see see what's up. Sorry, this is super boring. I know. It's, it's it's my mistake. Actually, you know what? We'll finish off the scrap. And if there's any repairs left over, then we'll just go to District 3 anyway and see if we can buy some uh, some Tier 3 scrap. Uh, bomb, we entered atmosphere doing about uh, 5,000 meters a second. And somehow it blew the, uh, the rear fuel tank off. So, note to self, enter atmosphere at uh, about a thousand meters or less. Because uh, 5,000 is definitely way too fast. Oh yeah, the new station layout's right! That way you don't like get lost trying to navigate where, wherever you're going. They did do that. Uh, Bomb, I'll have you know that I have been unfortunately clean, as far as alcohol goes, for an abysmal amount of time. Believe me, not by choice. It's been, um... It's been, like, I live in a dry county, so you have to, you have to travel quite a bit to go buy alcohol. It's just... I guess it's nice, but I'm not gonna drive 45 minutes just to go, you know, pick up some, some vodka. Uh, actually, Death, you can't. It is illegal to, uh, to ship alcohol in Arkansas. Like, I think you have to, like, ship it to a... to a, uh... Like an actual liquor store or something. It's it's pretty much like a like an FFL transfer. Like alcohol here is abhorred. Oh wait, bomb! What what happened, man? Oh look at that! We actually fixed it. All right. Uh, we'll get that gear too. 
Like, how, how did they scam you exactly? Uh, Idokai, funny you say that. I actually lived in Texarkana for 10 years. Um, Texarkana, Texas is wet. Texarkana, Arkansas... I'm sorry, hold on. Texarkana, Arkansas is wet. Up until about a year ago, Texarkana, Texas was dry. So, like, you could buy alcohol on one side, but not, not the other. Just give it a quick once-over. Radar's good. Adjusters are good. Ah, oh, bomb, that sucks. Yeah, I don't I don't really trust those uh personal box markets yet. That's what I forgot. There's still uh hold up. Oh thanks, Flat. I um I'll be honest, not really. So whatever's going on, uh my kidneys are not doing well. Um, not well at all. My kidneys are having a time. And because of that, my blood pressure has gone through the roof. Like, I don't know if you guys, like, know how bad blood pressure can get, but, uh, like, when they took mine to the doctor's office, it was, like, 160 over 110, 120, like, high. Like, they, they took it several times because they, they actually thought it was a glitch. Um... Yeah, so my, my blood pressures went through the roof because of whatever's going on with my kidneys. Uh, we're getting set up to do an ultrasound. So that'll be fun. It's been a long time since I've had an ultrasound for, for anything. All right. Bob, I wouldn't call yourself an idiot, you know? Like, someone says they've got something, like, who who are you to question it? I mean, they've got a very Eve-style market set up. So a lot of people are going to, uh, you know, try to pull the Eve scams as much as they can. Oh, thanks, guys. Like, I, I should live, I hope. I mean, if I don't, I guess I can start, like, a, a GoFundMe for, for kidney stuff. Since that's the, uh, the way you pay for operations in America. See, like, you guys have all these fancy drinks. Like, fancy, to me, is a, is a Washington apple. Oh, man, I, I love a Washington apple. That's right, Death. Crowdsourced healthcare. If only there was another way. Brain surgery. You feel like sharing more of that? That that seems. Were there were there oranges involved? Like I always hear something involving oranges with brain surgery. All right, we better we better back that down. So we're gonna we're gonna get a low orbit going. We can use that to get around the planet just a little bit faster. Oh yeah, I can imagine. It's like, what do they, what do they do? Like, do they suture your brain? Like, how do they, how do they put the the skull bits back in? Like, did you, did you get a plate? Oh, blood clot. Man, I'm glad you survived that.
I mean, you're probably right there again. I'm like, no pain receptors, but I mean, there's always like, what, PTSD? Like, there's, there's emotional pain receptors? That's, that's a lot of money, Vlad. Jeez. Yeah, that boy said it. Jesus. Um, <clears throat> that is a lot. You know, I should have sold that quartz while I was at the market. Let's make this slightly less harsh descent. Also, just so you guys know, I am terrible at things like Kerbal Space Program. Hey, look at that. Now we've actually got a, uh, a sustainable orbit. I think there's actually an achievement for, for sitting in an orbit like this for like 10 minutes. Ah, yeah, here it is. Yuri. Ten minutes. Yeah, we're not. We'll do that later. Oh man, Vlad, that's uh, that's badass, dude. Wait, do you have to do anything special for it? Like, I'm I'm sure like metal detectors are, are probably hell for you. Oh, yeah, see, okay. That boy, like, when it when it comes to getting blood drawn, needles don't phase me. It's the tourniquet, like, the little bandy thing they use to, like, get your veins to show up. Like, you can stab me all day long, although I'd prefer it if you didn't. It's the whole, like, putting the tourniquet on me. That's the thing that makes me pass out. I always tell him, like, if I pass out, just go ahead and take the blood. Like, it's not the needle, it's the, it's the tourniquet. And yeah, this game is actually really fun. Like, traveling between planets takes forever. Like, it takes me 45 minutes to get the Thades. Like, if I had a warp, or a warp drive, it would be so much faster. Oh, that's expensive. Really, Vlad? Like, uh... What, what does that do, exactly? Like, do you get, like, a headache from it? Like, do you have to take something? That's, um, I never thought about that. Like, is it just, like, um, is it only, like, airplane travel? Or is it more like you're going through the mountains of Tennessee and you have to do something, or, or what? Oh, yeah, like it's uh, it's fairly new like it just hit beta. It was an alpha for a bit, but it was all under NDA So people couldn't really talk about it like it's just now on on beta I hope they fix it graphical stuff Oh flat that sucks Can you uh, can you take stuff for it at least? Like, um, what is it? What's the stuff for, uh, for car sickness? Dizepam, um... Oh, hey, it's the Ark ship! So if you guys look at that, that little black triangle thing over there, it's like the, uh... The ship that, like, all of humanity came in. That's neat. Hey, Wilbur, how's it going? Oh, right, hold on, we gotta lower our, uh, speed. Yeah, fire, I haven't really, uh, messed around with any of the PvP yet. Come 
on, wings. Get lift. There we go. Give me one second. Let me let me land and then I can catch up on chat. And you know what? We're gonna we're gonna park away from the plaza this time, because I'm sure there's like hundreds of ships just scattered about. Oh yeah. We are losing frames. So many ships here. Jeez. And we're going to let our auto lander uh, finish hitting the ground for us. Sounds like we're down. Okay, so frames are going to be really bad while we're here. Because there's just literally hundreds of abandoned speeders and ships. Yeah, if I, like I said, I haven't really messed around with the PvP yet. Um, I've seen a lot of people share that sentiment. Yeah, like, here's uh, here's the basic speeder. This is the speeder they give you. Well, one of two. You can choose either or or both, and it's basically a hovercraft. So you can't really get that far off the ground, but you slap enough engines on it, you'll be doing, like, 800 kilometers an hour. Someone taking off on their square ship. See, like, we've got these these fuel truckers. They've made like, uh, a space fuel truck. Uh, yeah, Death. Um, technically, I mean, we can't do it here because, you know, this is like a, a PvP-free zone. But, um, yeah, like, okay, so, for example, this guy has this ship for sale. Like, uh, so I think this is like a, yeah, this is a cargo ship slash transporter. So, like, if you're mining, you could have, like, your whole mining crew back here. So it's basically just like a, a drop ship for miners. Which is, uh, decent. Resurrection node, so you can do like I did, like, suicide and just respawn back. Um, now this is a prefab ship. This is one that the developers made that is for sale. Uh, the Nomad, it's, it's all right. Probably one of the better prefabs. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, so... This ship, we'll actually get to that in a second. That's actually behind us for sale. It's a player-made ship. This... is adorable. What is this? Is this aluminium? Calcium! This ship is made out of calcium. Oh, also, um, you can actually hit H to identify any sort of uh, item you're looking at. Which is, uh, which is nice. Some designs uh, are, are better than others, obviously. Like, you got this cute little thing. And one second, my chat is froze. Let me refresh. Okay, there we go. Or like this. This is actually the... Uh... Yeah, sorry, my frame's gonna die there. This is actually another prefab you can buy. Um, their frames are dying because there's just all the ships that are parked here. Oh, that guy's having a time. See, this is nice. This guy's been a fairly decent ship. What is this made out of? Uh, military aluminium. That thing, and then... Okay, so there's this guy who has made... His name is Xenon? Xenon? Like, I would say Xenon, but he's got two ends in there, so I don't I don't really know. But, like, he's got these ships for sale. And, uh, like, he's got all the stats written out here on, on the screen. And, basically, like, you, you get the... What do you call it? The, the blueprint. And you buy the batch that uh, has all the stuff for it. In fact, we've actually got a blueprint for this one. 
It's actually the, the first ship I ever bought, so we can actually go down and see all the stuff for it. And uh, give me a second, we'll hop into it so you can take a look. These are like all these little personal transport craft. Um, looks like someone bought one and didn't get very far. Actually, can we just can we hop in? Ah, the door's not wide enough. And then he's got this thing, which transports uh, a lot more. Looks like he's out, though. Let's see. I think we can jetpack parkour our way into at least one of these. <laughs> no. Okay, so basically a little shuttle. You've got your seat. Um, can't really see without falling out, but there's cargo racks up here. You've got seating for six, windows. It's uh, it's pretty nice actually. Um, for four hundred thousand, it's not actually bad. This was my first spaceship. One second, my chat has died again. Come on, YouTube, keep up. So I know the frames are probably bad, but is everything else coming okay for you guys? Oh yeah, the hag board. Uh, this is a uh, an atmospheric only surfboard. So you can stand on it, hit the remote control, and uh, pretty much fly it. I'm gonna get inside this thing. What's it made out of? Carbon. That's a decent pattern. All right, so since we're here, I'm going to hit the marketplace, unload this quartz. Is that? Is that? Yeah, it looks like he's working on it right now. So it's... Whoa, buddy! Wow, talk about sticking the landing. Jeez. Wow, okay, that's those are my frames. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna unload that quartz. Uh just in the back, some that back. Now I don't know if there's a way to sell it directly from a linked container. I have not found it yet, so until someone points it out to me, I have to break the stuff up and send it over to my inventory one at a time, which gets super tedious. Yeah, Laramie. Um, actually, if you if you wanted to, you could equip it for space and really be the Silver Surfer. Uh, where are we? Ah, here we go. I didn't I didn't put any of that in my inventory. Whoops. Here we go. All right. Yeah, Jimmy, no problem. And the thing is, like, you can actually. You may have been here for it, but um, you can actually sell someone the keys to a ship. So, like, if you actually build out a ship, you can uh, actually trade them the key, which gives them, like, property rights, everything else. Which is, which is nice. And, like, I could be, like, jumping around looking for the best deal. 27,000? Really? I should be looking for the best deal. I can get double that on Moon 1. Hmm. Okay, Sanctuary 2 is 13. What are we getting here? 6. Disgusting. Well, we're gonna unload anyway. Um. Just because I don't feel like lugging it 
off planet again. Then we'll go back to moon one and mine on moon one. I mean, Laramie, you could. Uh, supposedly the meta right now is just like putting rail guns on the smallest possible ship. So like you could you could put a rail gun like on the underside. Cause like I said, I haven't really messed with PvP, but I hear a lot of it is automated. Like your radar tracks something, then it can lock on. Once it's locked on, your guns can uh, can target and fire. It seems like it happens from several kilometers away. Although, if someone would like to correct me, I would I would love to hear otherwise. I mean, granted, that gun and the ammunition and everything else is going to add a lot of weight, so that, that board might not be as um, maneuverable. Because everything has weight. Including the, uh, the voxel materials. That's why my ship is built of pure carbon and light. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We're fine. I can all stay. Alright, so yeah, after that abysmal showing... What has he done? Is there a ship attached to his ship? There he is. This guy has a ship on top of his ship. Huh. Oh god, I forgot where we parked. Um, one second. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Thanks, Fire Dune. I mean, I'm kind of sad to hear that, but... I mean, at the same time, you know... I guess I could have just walked off. Make sure we don't have any stowaways before we take off. Nope, we're good. <laughs> Thanks, Skinner. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go back to Moon One now. Yeah, like we were getting double the prices. And uh, not to mention, like, it's just so much easier to mine on the moon. I like someone's moving out there. Let's go, uh, let's go with Flyby. Check them out. Let's see what they've got going on. Oh, that's gonna... Yeah, he got lucky. Alright, so it's gonna be the opposite side. So we'll achieve an orbit. Loop around and start our full burning. <clears throat> I need more water, so like once we actually hit speed, I'm gonna go grab more water because my my throat is dying. Oh really, fire dude? So what's um? Okay, so it's kind of like more RNG instead of like physicalizing the uh, the round trajectory then. I mean, I guess it helps with, um, like, lag and desync, maybe? Actually, Fire Dude, you might, you might be able to answer that. Like, uh, Death was asking, are there, like, PDCs? Because I've seen that there's, uh, missile turrets. Can you actually shoot those down? Yeah, like if I'm if I'm tracking at thirty thousand kilometers an hour, which is the actual top speed, not just a, a thrown out amount. 
Like, it's very hard to calculate that, I would say, with, with physicalized trajectories. So it sucks, but I'll, I'll give them that, you know? And that is a very inefficient burn, but eh, whatever. Actually, Fire, maybe, maybe you can answer this for me. I've got both a, a space radar and an atmospheric radar. I can only connect one at a time to my, uh, to my seat. Not both. Like, I've tried unlinking everything and doing just those two, and I still can't seem to get it. You wouldn't know anything about, uh, equipping both radars at once, would you? Like, I don't really need them since I'm still in, you know, the PvP free zone, but it's nice to be, uh, to be able to. Mmm, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I really don't know what they're going to do about that, because as far as, like, if you were going to do, like, piracy, pretty much the only way you can catch someone is either when they're coming into a planet or leaving. Like, once they get up to speed, there's nothing you can do. Only one at a time? That sucks. So I gotta... I actually have to get out of my seat and, like, manually connect them. Cool, that's lame. I might I might just put, like, a, a second command chair in this ship, just so someone can actually operate the, the other radar. Oh, yeah, like, I'll be keeping to, to a small, like, I'm not exactly in a big ship right now, you know? It's gonna be a while, like, a long while before I actually get into a, uh, like, a large core unit. Just gonna make sure we're not gonna smack the planet directly, there we go. Looks like we're still being affected. All right, yeah, we're all right. So, I actually have to get out and... Uh, I don't know if that's the case. I should probably put my radar inside. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, well, we will get out and manually disconnect our atmospheric radar. And mainly reconnect our, our space one, like a barbarian. Oh, right, I forgot. Let me disarm this thing. Well, that slowed us down considerably. I forgot that I had my emergency control unit armed, so it, that, uh, that slowed us down to about half. That's why I never armed that thing. Huh. Alpha station, what? that and we're getting closer to something ah there it is
you know, I'm tempted to go see what it is, but I just, I don't feel like burning the fuel, you know? they're going the opposite direction or if we're just mm, yeah I think we are just burning the best we should probably start slowing down a bit. Ah, no, we'll be all right. We'll be fine. How do I unhighlight that? That's Hey, Russell. What, this thing? Actually, um, there is... Someone's been selling a ship. Uh, they're calling it the Doris, but, um... It's pretty much a freelancer. Like, it is straight up a freelancer. Like, it's got the, the... You know, the curved cockpit. It's got the... the body design, the twin engines, like it is, it is straight up a, uh, a freelancer. Yeah, get her, man, have a good night, man. Hope you sleep easy, man. Get, uh, get some shut eye. Yeah, fire, it seems like PvP would be a very economically costly thing. Why... Why can I not... Ah, oh, this is no good. I can't throttle upward. Hmm. Try this again. There we go. Okay. The uh, to reconfigure. Actually, I want to come out on the light side, so we're actually just going to slow down enough to get an orbit, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna loop around the planet, planet, moon, whatever, celestial body. Redo my uh, my linkings again because technically this thing is an atmosphere. Note to self: put radar inside so I can do this from within. Actually, you know, we've got the fuel. 
we don't actually have to do an orbit. We can uh, pull around and land on this side. Yeah, fire. I think I think you're right there. Like, um, because especially like with you know the finite resources too. Like once once you've mined an area, it stays mined. So like people are gonna fight over territory, over resources. Which makes sense. Which I mean, I'm I'm alright with. Like I'm probably going to be more of a more of a logistics kind of guy anyway. I am probably doing this super inefficiently. Confession time, I uh... We had a single rocket off of the moon in Kerbal. I mean, Laramie, like, it all does come down to, uh, to deals and logistics. Just, you know, the, the end game of those deals and logistics is PvP, probably. Or at least for some people. I mean, like, there's still a massive economy, industry. It's just, like, a lot of that supports, you know, PvP, and eventually gets to the point where I need something, that guy has it, he doesn't want to give it up, so he gets, he gets shot. Like, you know, if you can't reach a, uh, a civil deal, then that's, that's where the PvP comes in. I mean, granted, I'm probably not going to PvP anybody. We want to sit down in the canyon. Oh, wow, we're actually super close to the marketplace, so, um... Yeah, why not? We'll just sit down there, in the canyon. Out there, mate, that's fair, and... Like, it probably is. Like, I know a lot of people are very... PvP-oriented. Oh, yeah, there's, wow, there's the market. We, uh, we eyeballed that pretty good. Good? Well? One of those. We did well. Oh, yeah, I guess we could turn that off.
Eh, we've got strong enough retro rockets, so we can just plop in. Oh, wow, really, Maurice? Mm-mm. Landing gears down. And we have arrived. Oh, wait, right. Sorry, I, I spent forever setting up this button with a relay just so I could, you know, get this to work. All right, let's see what's around. Uh, long range. Uh, maybe Laramie. Like they may have added the AI just so there was something to fight. Like right now, there are no NPCs. I really don't know what's on the roadmap. That might be something that's getting added in later. Hmm, going flat, so we'll go that way. Maybe west? Yes. Ooh, back up. I mean, it could have been like one of those scripted trailers or scripted, you know, gameplay things like Star Citizen does. Where they, you know, fake a few things to show off the action. Let's see. Oh, wow, we are right on top of it. There we go. Huh. More quartz. I promise there is more ore in this game than, than quartz. Really, Laramie? Um... I don't think there's AI. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I have not seen any sort of, like, NPC ships. Or they may have fought someone thinking it was AI. Oh yeah, Fire Dune. You and me both. Like... I've tried not to give EA any money for a long time. Especially after what they did to, uh, to Westwood and Pandemic, but... Squadrons looks beautiful. And, uh, I mean, it's been like... I want to say 10 years since I've bought an EA game. I say that, maybe seven years. So, I mean, I might, I might be able to give them some money for squadrons. Question is, do I have to use the EA Origin launcher? Hey, guy. Oh yeah, man. Like uh, it's been it's been bumping for a little while now. Oh right. Uh, let's see. I I really need to clear that stuff out. Remind me to sell this stuff off once I uh, once I get back to the marketplace. So it's called Starship. 
I'll have to look that one up too. Yeah, Julius, I, I agree. Um, for one, I feel like we should have more, uh oh, more player ran markets. Like I hate how micromanaged the, the economy is in Star Citizen. Uh oh, I think the uh, the server's having a time. Like, I actually really enjoy this mining. Now, granted, I know Star Citizen can't do that because there would be pockmarks everywhere. But like this, this mining style is is wonderful. It's very low stress. Too. That looks like it's recovered. All right. Think we're good. I also find it runs better on the moon because there are much, much fewer people here than uh, on the starting planet. Yeah, Maurice. Mismanaged is right. Like, hopefully these cargo decks actually have something coming this patch and it's not just like a, an area with nothing to do. All right, let's see if our scanner... Okay, yeah, we've cleared out everything. Send this back to the ship and force a respawn. Oh, yeah, Julius, that's fair. All right, let's go south. I mean, it, it can be overwhelming. Um, there is so much to do in this game, and I have really not even scratched the surface. Like, um... Factories. Like, you just make massive factories to produce things. I have not done that yet. Um, I'm actually homeless. I have like a single base that's like a, a concrete structure. Mm, let's go like up. So we need to go north maybe? Mm, back up again. Well, Julius, the good thing about Dual Universe is that you can actually continue to learn your skills offline. Like, um... Button, is it? F6, here we go. No, that's achievements. Here we go, okay, so... You can actually queue these up, and they still learn, progress, whatever the word is, when you're, when you're offline. So even if you're away for a few weeks, you can still get all your skills up, and you can queue them up so it goes, you know, one right after the other. Actually, we've got some free talent points, so let's uh, put that in. There we go. You see, Julius, that's that's what I want to see. Like, I want to see how this gets into the end game when resources become more scarce. Okay, we're not much deeper than. Yeah, Fire Dune. Voxelmancy escapes me. Like, I'm going to have to hire a, uh, a Voxelmancer to clean up my ship. Because there is just several things on there that I cannot be bothered to, to mess with. I will pay someone to, uh, to fix it. And we are literally on top of our load. And we're back down from our load. So what happened? Aha, there it is. What is that, hematite? Oh, Julius, no, don't don't feel like that. There's a wealth of decent space games out there. 
And the thing is, like, each one has, like, pros and cons, you know? Like, um... Elite Dangerous. I have really been enjoying Elite Dangerous. In Dual Universe, this has pretty much engrossed me this, uh, last few days. It's just the only thing that bites is the whole, you know, subscription model, which sucks, but... I mean, at the same time, like, six bucks a month. I mean... If I took what I spent on Star Citizen and applied that over, you know, six dollars a month, that's years, you know? Probably longer than I'll be alive. Especially if my kidneys keep up. Besides, like, there's Eve, um, there's tons of, uh, tons of games. Actually, hold on. Give me give me one second. I'm going to check something. There was this really neat game on Steam that I picked up. It's a little free game. I just have to figure out what the name of it was again. Uh, let's see. Endless Sky. Yeah, Endless Sky. Like, uh, it's, you know, 2D, it's top-down. But I played the crap out of Endless Sky. Like, uh, pretty much like a, a spiritual successor, or at least in the same vein of, like, escape velocity. Hey, weird, how's it going, man? Let me guess, out of school, right? Oh, yeah, Julius. Like, I, I love space engineers. Um, it's actually what made me interested in this, because it felt like, well, at the time, it looked like space engineers, but, like, with, uh, with a better netcode. So you could actually, you know, play with other people. It's basically like space engineers building and mining, kind of. Um, Eve's economy and Kerbal's flight model. So they've stolen the best parts of a bunch of different games to make a uh, an MMO. And at this point, I will allow that theft to occur because it's fun. Yeah, a fire. Like, okay, so, you know, people complain about microtransactions. Star Citizen has perfected the art of macro transactions. Like, oh yeah, I picked up a Gladius the other day. It was only ninety dollars. All right, is that everything? We picked up all the hematite. Yes, yes, we have. So. Send that back to the ship. We'll suicide. But yeah, like they've they've got the whole macro transaction thing going on, and like we still have the micro transactions as well. Yeah, see, look at that. I I hate that. So I am definitely going to have to get someone who understands voxels to clean that up. Really, Fire Dune Stormworks. I'm gonna uh, make, make a note of that. Like, um, okay, so it's gonna sound dumb, but whenever I play Ark, I um, I build a boat, and I go up and down the coast, like trading with people. Like I'll go pearl diving, and uh, trade pearls to people. So, like, I'll just build, like, a little riverboat so I can trade with people off the coast. So, yeah, if, if there's a game where I can actually build my own boat and make it look decent, I might I might give that a, a whirl.
You know, I, I agree, Julius. You're kind of right. SC does have that whole vanity play going on. I've noticed that especially with a lot of egos in the Star Citizen community. A lot of egos. Mm, so. uh, weird, we are actually mining. Uh, we've got a little mining detection thing here that... Um, actually, we might be in range. Ah, once again, right on top. Yeah, like right now the graphics are like beta garbage. So graphics will be improved. And the thing is, like, I don't really care about graphics. Like, up until a few years ago, I've always played on a very obsolete, outmoded PC. Like, I still play Medivia from time to time. That is a text-based MUD. Not an MMO, a MUD. Multi-user dungeon. That game came out in 1994. And it was the only thing I could play on a dial-up modem. So, yeah, graphics graphics don't matter to me. I don't care how something or how pretty something is, you know? Like I need it to have a decent personality. Oh, no, weird. Trade is actually already in the game. Um I actually do a lot of day trading because it's 100% a player economy. So, I will buy something at one market and literally just turn around and sell it to the next market. Um, it's just right now, the market is very volatile, and while I can make money with it, it's super boring to stream, because you're literally just looking at menus. Like, you're you're basically looking at this, finding, like, for example, let's, let's look at quartz. So, people are selling quartz. Uh, Yago 3, that's a drive, we're not going out there. Sanctuary 7. Okay, so someone has Sanctuary 7 quartz for sale. They've got 80 total, 10 a unit. We could take that to District 8, sell it for 12.56. That's a profit of like 2.50 uh, a unit. Now, in Dual Universe, that's not a lot of profit. Not to mention they've only got 80 for sale. So, if we go to I don't know, let's look at coal. Okay, so coal is a little bit better. Uh, Fades is still a drive, though. Someone is buying coal. 20,000 a pop for 13 units. That... That sounds like bait. Uh, yeah, Julius. Actually, it, it already is. It is 100% there like and territorial warfare is coming like you could eventually when it gets there sorry i'm just grabbing my calculator because i can't math in my head i'm wondering if that trip would actually be worth it i mean granted i'm sure someone will uh you know someone will have sold by the time we get there man that's two hundred sixty thousand. that's a long drive though man that is a long drive Should we do it? It's like 45 minutes one direction, though. You know, Julius, I never actually get to play the, uh, the Dune games. You think I should sell? Like, I mean, I've got to, I've got to find coal first. Actually, hold on. Let's just uh, pull our scanner right quick. Actually, let me, let me clean up this quartz first, then I'll go find some coal. I mean, it'll be kind of a boring stream, but I guess we can chit chat, sit back, relax, talk things out. Oh yeah, Julius. Like I, I remember like Westwood, you know, made it. I just never got around. Like my first Command and Conquer was Tiberian Sun. It was in a, a two-pack with, you know, Firestorm. 
And then like I got I got red alert. Like those were actually my first I wanna say modern PC games, because I picked those up in like 2000, 2001, and uh, I mean yeah, that was about the time for Tiberian Sun. And like I got Red Alert 1 and 2, and oh my god, those are those were amazing. Yeah, I mean, that would easily pay for the trip out there. I'm just wondering if someone will actually... Actually, hold on. Let's just check. Does Stades even have coal? Oh, it does. So, let me get this quartz bind up, and then we'll check to see if, um... So, I'm just betting. I am betting someone hits that before we get there. I don't know, like, maybe it's better to stay here, because by the time we make that trip, we could have actually made that same amount just, like, mining. And, you know, this is also a, a sure bet. I mean, that is 13 units of coal. That is, that is bait. Hey, Alessandro, no. My sleep schedule is still an absolute trash fire. Like, I am I am lucky to be awake right at this moment. Um, and it'll probably change again next week, too. Uh, yeah, Alessandro, this is a uh, dual universe. Right now, we are mining. Uh, we are under the planet at the moment. It is all voxel-based planets. Technically, if you had enough people and the time, you could mine an entire planet and reduce it down to its, uh, its core. But no one's gonna do that because they're not psychopaths. Yeah, Russell, you're right. I think we should play it safe. Like, I would love to go out there and make that money off 13 units of coal. But... I mean, at the same time, that's just... A ridiculous trip, a fuel burn. Actually, fuel would be cheap there. It's a fueling station. Uh, because they produce chromite, which gets us our uh, our Kurgan. Ah, uh, still, nah, we'll be we'll be all right. Yeah, Julius. Um, I forget what planet it's on. Supposedly, there's sandworms. I don't know if that'll actually make it to our release, though. Like, when they showed that off, that, that felt like a heavily scripted thing. And those scripted missions never make it to Star Citizen. I mean, I'd say that, like, the, the salvage mission kind of made it in. But at the same time, you don't get attacked on that mission either. Like, you know, we got attacked on that one during the, the demo, just so they could show off the Valkyrie swooping in to, uh, to rescue the guy. And now it's just literally go there, grab the thing, put it in the, uh, the place. Oh yeah, fire, me too. Like that's that's where I got started with um you know, really just modern space stuff. And like Star Citizen really needs better management. Like, the developers are great, but the management team really needs to be either overhauled or they need people to, to tell them no. It seems like every other patch we get some new feature no one asked for, which, in, you know, increases the, the feature creep, makes things take longer. Like, prisons. Nobody asked for prisons. It's it's neat, but nobody asked for that. Uh, 
Oh, Julius, I, I hope not. I don't know if there's actually going to be creatures in this game. Haha, <laughs> Maurice! Yeah, it gets annoying after a while. I should really take the talents that makes mining go faster. And we also keep hitting these, like, impressively big nodes. Like, look at this. We're, we're actually almost full. Whew, our tonnage. We actually might be over... We might be overloaded. I don't know if that thing can actually get off the ground. But we're gonna, we're gonna try. Well, like, there's there's a few skills you can take, and I've kind of got one of them working on. Like, yes, yeah, increasing the mining sphere size, and then that way you can mine more and it's not as repetitive. But we hit a super huge node here. Like, usually they are not this big. Usually you can get like one one and a half of your inventory and you're good to go. Yeah, variations would be nice. Like, I am I am sorry, this is so repetitive, guys. Oh, internal server error, that's not good. Uh-oh. I think the server's dying again. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. Actually, let's check something. How do we make... How do we make a smelter? Uh, it comes from a basic pipe. So, where do we get basic pipes? Is that the 3D printer? Hmm... Elements, industry, yeah, here we go. Hmm. So where do we get our screws? Yeah, it's made of aluminium and silicon. Actually, nanocrafter only. Here we go. Okay, so I can actually make an assembly line myself. So you start with an assembly line. Okay. Okay. Um, basic screws made out of steel. It's iron and carbon. Ooh, yeah, I might have to do that off stream. That that looks tedious to get set up. Uh, Joel, it's actually Kerbal Space Program, as far as the flight model goes. And yeah, Fire, I would like to see that too. Like, I know prospecting has really taken off. Uh, Joel, actually, you're probably about to see the flight model, because we're about to, uh, to fill up here. And our ship is overloaded, so there is a slight chance we crash and burn. Because, um, it's rated for 120 tons. We've got... We've got that and more in it, so let me just check the, uh, the scanner. Okay, we're good. Send that back to the ship. 
Suicide back. Uh, kind of. It's it's very simulatory. Um, the mass of your ship, like the the cargo of your ship, actually affects the uh, the weight. Um, aerodynamics are a bit simplified. It goes off the cross section of the ship, so like you know how tall it is, how wide, how uh, how thick. Um, fuel actually has weight, so the more fuel you have in, the heavier your ship is. Really fire! Oh man, I wish I could see that. Uh, let's see, we'll set that. So, we'll set for a long distance trajectory. There we go. Oh yeah, this, this poor thing is overloaded. I don't even know if we can actually turn around. Oh, we can still gain altitude off the uh, the hover engines. That's nice. Oh yeah, this this poor thing. We are probably going to wreck. So we'll get the engines warmed up. Probably very inefficient, but I like to get the engines warm while holding the uh, the brakes, just so I can take off better. See, Joel, uh, we're actually on a moon right now, and this moon has zero atmosphere. So our uh, our atmospheric engines and our lift from our wings is doing nothing for us. Like, we are pretty much running off of our space engines, which are not that great when they're loaded. There's the market. We're going to see if our retro rockets can hold us in space, or in place, in time for... Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, this thing is coated in, uh, in retro rockets, so... As long as there's no atmosphere, we can bring ourselves to a stop just about anywhere. Which is good, because uh, I suck at piloting in a uh, in a Kerbal-based simulator. The crap is that? Hey, look! A TIE Bomber. Let's go check that out. All right. Uh, there's our button. That's why we've got it. All right. First, let's check out this. Um, what the hell is this thing supposed to be? Medium laser. Like, are they are they using this for PvP? Is that what? What a boxcar! Oh, those thrusters aren't even symmetrical! Oh, that, that bothers me. Oh. Let's go check out this, this little tie. Oh, yeah, fire. I, I am sure. I mean, like, look at this. We've got, what is this? Darth Vader, TIE Bomber. It's actually not a bad little design. I think they've done pretty well. I mean, like, the, the Voxel Mancy could probably be done a little bit better. It's very aluminum foil crumpled, but, like, getting getting curves to work is hard, so I can't really, I can't say anything. I mean, it's still better done than, than what I've got here. Like, this ship is leagues ahead better than what I could design. A little, a little personal craft. It's decent. What is that? Is that aluminium? Can't design for atmosphere. They've got their fuel intake so they can actually hit their uh, fuel. All right, let's, let's sell this stuff out.
Yeah, that was 27 kiloliters of, of quartz. That is ridiculous. That is the largest node I have ever hit. Like, ever. Really? Like, so if you just encase something with voxels, then, uh, then it's pretty much invincible, right? Really? Battle cube? That's, that's, uh, the meta? Is the battle cube? Uh, I don't like that. I don't, I don't think you're gonna find me doing PvP. I mean, that's why, that's why wild voxels are invincible, right? Like, they're not always going to be invincible. Like, they're going to take damage. Yeah, see, this is, this is better. We're making pretty much double what we were making on the, at uh, the last place. I just wish I could sell it directly from my container to the market. Yeah, like, I would be doing just trade, but right now the market is super volatile since, you know, beta. People are still figuring out what they should be pricing things out, so they're all over the place. Like, uh, territory control units and the, uh, the survey units. Those things are ridiculous. Like, a few days ago, scanners were like two and a half million. And I was going to buy one, but I, I passed it up. Now they're like nine million. Which is ridiculous, because, you know, in a couple of days you can just make your own. Uh, Soul, I can't sell all in one go because they're in the ship container, and uh, I can't I can't actually access it. It's kind of grayed out. Like if there is a way to access it, I would love to know. Otherwise, I would just sell everything all in one go, because uh, my inventory can only hold forty six hundred liters, and my my ship can hold you know uh, a lot more. Oh, really, Fire Dune? All right. I, I did not know that. Actually, hold on. I forgot we had that hematite, and I need to unload all of that stuff, too. Uh, so there is a way. You can take skills that, uh, that makes it higher. Because like this is my this is my personal inventory, and I'm sure there's going to be a way to sell from your container. Because like we're in the marketplace, and we can see it up here. It's just grayed out, so maybe it's just not enabled for now. I mean, you know, it is beta technically, so feature incomplete. I mean, there there are definitely rough spots to this game, just because it's not all the way polished yet. So I'll. I will give it this, like, I'm sure they know selling from your inventory is tedious. Yeah, because I just, I can't click this at all. Can, can I sell from that? Is that it? That I just, is that the button that I needed? Oh. Well, I can access it now, but I can't sell from here. Man, that was an emotional roller coaster. Like I got super excited just to, to dash dash my hopes. Oh yeah, fire. Like I've got a I've got a radar. Um and like I said, I've been I've been in baby space anyway. Uh, we'll keep the screen, the wood, the carbon. Mm, get rid of the gray.
Wardrobe is too tall. Don't need the dark gray. Uh, air brakes, that's it. All right. Really still 20 tons? Oh yeah, the Nitron. Ah, since we're lugging that around, I can at least just put it in my um, put it in my fuel tank. All right, so let's uh, let's sell this stuff off. Ah, uh, that's not much. Is not much. But they're free, so. Hmm. Yeah, those, uh, those really don't go for a lot, do they? Ah, whatever, it is chump change. Really, I just need them out of my inventory. And, like, I've thought about trying out PvP, but at the same time, I don't want to lose my ship. Because there's like 4 million in that ship, and, uh... I don't really have a viable way to make tons of money to replace that ship anytime soon. Okay, I've pretty much got to go mining. Now, we did pretty good on that last trip, I would say. I mean, we made, like, what, 400,000? But, yeah, like, I don't I don't have the money to just blow in, in PvP. So, like, that's the thing. Like, I don't really see PvP as being profitable. Like, it's a thing to do, but there's no way I'm going to make money from it. I mean, especially, you know, right now. Okay, so we are, we are at a million. We've accomplished that much. Uh, that can get deleted. We'll go pump the fuel into the tanks, that way they're at least doing something. Instead of uh, taking up inventory space. Actually, hold on. Is that? No, that's my space tank. What else do we got? Uh, X4 and X1. Oh, right. Ah, that went quick. Uh, what do we have in this? X4. We will drain the X4 and put the X1 in it. Actually, maybe I should. Eh. Let's see. 280, alright. Microtransaction. So, what do you mean, Russell? Let's see, I need to uh, get one of those, like a large container, but. I don't know if this ship could handle that. Because uh, you can get like four or five hundred tons in one of those. And our ship is more of a, of a light shuttle, I would say. Oh yeah, that, that handles a lot better. Alright, so. Go mining once again. Engines get warm. Uh, 
And here we go. Yeah, I can't wait to see like better better planet graphics cuz I mean at range those look kind of messy. You know, it's probably far enough. Yeah, we're in unclaimed space. We're good. Start a descent. Uh, looks like maybe someone's digging here. It's like getting to a nice untouched area, you know. Like you hate getting to a spot to dig and it turns out someone's already been there. Right. Trying to like train myself to use this button because like I, I bought it, I spent forever getting it to uh, to work. Uh, what is that? Oh, there's more quartz. Looks like something's on top of it. Hematite, coal. Okay, so we've got quartz, coal, and hematite in the area. Hematite is heavy. But whatever, we'll, uh, we'll go for it anyway. Really fire, man! I I wish, I wish you could actually post these in in chat. I would love to see that. Like I don't mind flying over there just to to check it out, you know. But um, that's a, that's a bit of a drive from uh, Moon One. Actually, I wonder, is that coal still going for 20,000? Ah, uh, it is. I mean, like, even that 18 is a is a good price. They're taking 30,000 units. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so we are getting closer. Alright, yeah, we can use our detector now. Yeah, that was easy. Now, the question is fire, did they get the right blue on it? Alright, time for our cat on a ventilator again. You know, Maurice, I'm never I'm never gonna unhear that now. Thanks to you. Oh yeah, fire, I've seen that. He was actually uh advertising that in the uh the dual universe Discord. There's like a, a trade channel where people are buying and selling stuff. I desperately need to befriend someone who understands Lua? L-U-A? Like, however you say that. Like, it's a programming language. Like, I, I understand it exists. I just can't do anything with programming. It is not a skill that I uh, have picked up on. 
<laughs> I appreciate it, Maurice. Yeah, see, this this node is much smaller than the uh, the one we were hitting last time. With the quartz, this will be gone pretty quickly. Yeah, like that inventory display is nice. I I really enjoyed seeing that. Yeah, that's that's twenty three tons by itself. Hematite is like five kilograms a liter, I want to say. I enjoy that this game is going to force me to learn more metric system. Like, I've, I've tried to learn, but it's been slow going, and I have horrible discipline. Like, I'm pretty much just now grasping Celsius. Like I've got I've got the Google Assistant on my phone set up to uh, to tell me temperature in Celsius. So when I'm like, oh, it's disgusting. It's super hot. Google, you know what what temperature is it? And it's like, ah, oh, 30, 31, or 32. That's that sucks. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's it's the sucky temperature. That's that's all I know. Yeah, fire. That's that's what I'm expecting. Like really I wanna I wanna get into trucking, just hauling stuff back and forth, or even doing like shuttle work. I don't feel like there's going to be a ton of uh, of money in that though, which I'm alright with. I'm not really worried about the money. Actually I kind of enjoy that, you know, like being up to my eyeballs in debt. Like one payment away from, from people coming after me. Like uh if you guys ever saw that movie oh god, what was it called? Not Flight of the Phoenix. Something with an arc. Like, basically, a, a guy takes a job from a nun to go somewhere, like, and he's got his, his loan sharks chasing him off the runway, and she puts her cross too close to the to the compass, they're off course, and they hit, like, a, a desert island or whatever, and they they make a boat out of their ship and, uh, and sail back, and I think they had a bunch of animals with them, too. Like, I think they were taking them to, like, a, a missionary. I'll have to look it up. But it was it was a fun movie, and like I've just always envisioned my time in like Star Citizen and other space games off of off of that, you know, like staying one step ahead of uh, your lone shark, taking off like one job to the next, and that's everything in this whole. Uh, actually, hold on, let's double check. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, Joel, and, you know, being, being American makes it very difficult to, uh, adjust. And how, like, I, I struggle saying aluminium, you know, instead of aluminum. Flat again, so... East? No, no east. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's literally right there in the surface deposit. Okay, that's... I guess I could have looked up. Oh man, feed is easy. There's uh, you know, there's there's 12 inches 
to uh to a foot and then like three feet to a, a yard um and then 5280 feet to a mile it totally makes sense yeah that's um that's it that's that's totally that's super simple you know it's uh 12 3 5280 Ooh, Maurice. That, um... That does not sound fun. Like, I figured you guys were already all converted. Like, I know... I know you guys were using Fahrenheit when, like, Black Books came out. Because, you know, Bill Bailey had that entire episode about hitting 88 degrees, but, um... Yeah, that's, uh, I'm sorry. Must be a rough transition. Actually, I need to watch through that again. Been a Long time since I've watched some black books. Think we're yeah, we're on top of it. So time to dig. There we go. Yeah, Marie's still like converting your your money and I mean like you guys are still on what, the the pound, right? Like sterling or, or Chilling, you said? Like, are you guys actually using euros? Or are you using, like, euros and the pound? Oh, yeah, fire. Like, I definitely wouldn't mind. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty much only rated for, um, 120-ish tons, though, in, in that ship. It's more of a shuttlecraft than anything. Um, I'm actually trying to save up to buy a hauler that someone has built, um, that's rated for, like, four to 800 tons. But, um, that's expensive, you know? Ah, okay. Yeah, see, like, I always get confused about, like, you know, Ireland versus England versus Scotland, like, when it comes to, like, money and, and systems used. Because, you know, there's the whole, like, you know, the Five Kingdoms thing, but then also, like, Great Britain versus UK. Like, what's the, like, where, where do things end and begin with various systems? Hematite.
like I thought about buying the uh, that prefab shuttle, that Apex, and just re-kitting it to be like a, a massive hauler if I can. But at the same time, it's like two million for that ship, and it's probably not even set up correctly anyway. Because all of those prefabs were made before they changed some of the mechanics over. Oh, Maurice, that's that's fair. Like, I know there's a lot of um, a lot of feelings over that, over various um, where's and what's when it comes to the whole UK area. Hematite. Just double check our scanner. Yep. And time to cheese it and suicide. Alright, is there anything else out here? West we go. But yeah, that's that's entirely fair, Maurice. Uh, once upon a time, when I was young, dumb, and stupid, I uh, met someone from Scotland, and not being able to place their accent, I asked if they were. Uh, they were English, and you can imagine about how well that went over. For, uh, for those out of the loop, not well. Not well at all. That went horrendously. Yeah, Seafire, like, my, my first ship, like, it was, you know, still blocky. It was very Lego-y. Um, but, like, I could haul, like, 200 tons. It just was very slow. It also ate fuel like, like nothing else. But it was on an extra small core as well. I mean, basically, it was, uh... A speeder build that could take 200 tons off the moon. Uh, that's not looking good. So I think maybe we went too deep. So we're gonna gonna try digging our cardinals and see if we get closer. Okay, so west we go. Still not that great. Okay, so south maybe? Okay, here we go. I think this is where we're going. 
really difficult trying to place this stuff underground sometimes. Mmm, that's actually still flat. I don't I don't like that. Now we're getting closer to that, that white node though. Make something out of that. Yeah, we'll go after that one then. Yeah, and like I'd love to build out some of my uh some of my space engineer ships. Problem is, until we actually have like orbital stations, a lot of those are going to be useless. Okay, so that's 30. Yeah, the directional should be able to pick that up. Uh, you know what? Maybe it's above us. Yep. Okay, so we uh we dug a little bit too aggressively. Uh, Joel, you want to take those to the farms? Um, like, Bountiful Harvest, um, Galette, Terra Mills, Bud's Glory, Shady Glen. Yeah, fire, that's super nice. I mean, granted, I don't want it to happen to me, but, um... You know, it is nice that you can actually salvage a ship and take it as your own. What is that, bauxite? Now, Joel, how how many agricultural supplies are you are you running? Ah, Joe, that might take a while to unload. Oh man, Russell, I think I think you might be behind a little bit. I mean, granted, you probably won't hear this for a little bit. Like, I find this relaxing up until you get to the end, where there's always, like, a little bit of peace left, and you have no idea where it is. Ah, Joel, no worries. I mean, like, if you can't unload the whole thing, you can always take it elsewhere. I mean, it's not it's not drugs you know like it's ag supplies so you can always find a buyer it's not like you know there's only one place to unload the entire thing in, in the whole system Check our scanners, make sure there's, um... 
Alright, that's it. And we never found what that blue one was. So, uh, let's see if we can do that. Oh yeah, Joe, they got the, uh, the free fly cats right now, don't they? Really fire. That's actually really interesting. Are these like player made repair stations or, or what? Like, can you make your own? That's nice. I don't actually have to micromanage that. Okay, so maybe it is this direction. No, Joel, they're they're decent. I mean, oh, caterpillars how I got my start, you know. So I mean, it's not a bad investment. I mean, you can always upgrade it into something bigger too. Here we go. We're close. Super close. Actually, I just I just realized the time. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to uh, check my blood pressure here. For this whole kidney dying thing. One sec. Yeah, the doctor wanted me to start actually checking this out. Hopefully it's not a thing that I have to keep doing, you know, like for forever. Like I know, you know, I'll probably have to do it eventually as I get older. I just didn't think at 30 that's something I'd have to be doing. All right, I think I've got this thing on here right. Oh yeah, I uh, I don't really understand blood pressure numbers, but that is that is high. I think one fifty three over one twelve. That's that's a hypertension, right? Man, that uh, that Warren Zevin song was right. My my shit is effed up. All right, let me just write that down before I forget. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, go eat a banana or something after this. Yeah, Joel, if you're still knocking about, um, actually, how, how much UEC do you have right now? Because the trade markets are going to be ultra screwy right now in the free fly anyway, and you've got people doing the trade exploit. But if you make a trip out to Shady Glen Farms on Walla, and you'll need the personal delivery mission to find it, but if you take a trip out there... Uh, you're pretty much guaranteed to get base price distilled spirits, which is going to earn you about 84000 a run. You just have to invest, like, 223000 Oh, yeah, you got plenty of money. So, yeah, I would I would do that. Like, make your way out towards Art Corp. And, um... Buy... Buy distilled spirits at Shady Glen Farms and just unload it around Area 18. Make 84k a haul, which is a lot more than you'll make in anything else right now. Because I am sure that the markets are screwy. Especially with all those free fly caterpillars running around. Yeah, I see Russell, I just I just got your, your Kelvin thing, so I think you might be behind me a little bit here. Crap. All right, so in the back, we'll check our scanner. Okay, so we can force respawn. Yeah, you know, we could probably haul more too if I just took all this out and actually put in more containers, but once I do that, I'd have to get bigger thrusters and redo pretty much this whole area back here, and that's it's just a lot of um a lot of work. So I think I'll just save up and buy like an actual dedicated cargo ship. We're gonna we're gonna change areas right quick. We're just gonna go a few kilometers forward. Uh, Joel, not really. The only thing that's in between those two is going to be the Carrick and the Starfare. And while the Carrick handles faster, it is gigantic. And the Starfare is a pig. So the Freelancer Max is the next best viable trade ship, I would say. Like, you can make money on a Carrick, but have fun parking it. That's probably good enough. And, like, that's the thing that really pisses me off, is they keep pushing the tourists back because there are their excuses. We have plenty of cargo ships right now, so the tourists isn't a priority. It's like, you guys really don't. Ugh, I'm tired of quartz. Let's let's get something else. We've done so much quartz. Yeah, like they keep pushing the tourists back and their, their whole excuse is, oh, there's too many cargo ships. Like, there's, there's not. Like, really, you can't even make money running cargo unless you're in a freelancer max and above. And right now, things like the Rock totally outclass the, the freelancer max. Like, the, the Prospector completely eclipses the freelancer max. 
And the Constellation series is just so underwhelming. Like, those ships have been forgotten. So, yeah. I I would pass up using the Constellation to, uh, to haul in. Alright, let's see where we are. Yeah, it's low enough. All right. Hey, look, it's a coal. Maybe, maybe we should make the trip after all. Let's just double check that. Is is he still buying? It's still up. I I am tempted to go that way. Yeah, Joel, we need way more like freelancer sized ships, Connie sized ships. Like, the Caterpillar is great, but once the whole, like, multi-crew thing actually comes in, like, even running a cat is going to be kind of an issue. <sighs> like, um, I don't know if you guys ever played Pulsar Lost Colony, but if multi-crew is going to be anything like that game... Oh, I never got that water either. Sorry, my throat's, <clears> throat's going out on me. But if multi crew is ever like that game, then um, I would say running those big ships is definitely going to be an issue. Granted, by the time multi crew comes online, you could start your own family to to raise your own kids to be your multi crew. Yeah, fire like. That's, that was one of my big gripes, too. It's like, you go from a $150 mining ship to a $300 mining ship. And like, you can run the the mole as a two-man thing. Really, I think it's more efficient that way, but... Um, it's just not... It's, it's like a weird jump. It's a very weird jump. Like, I'm glad the mole is in, we just need something slightly smaller, like a, like a mini mole. Check our scanner. Yep, yes it is. What do we got? 112 tons. See, I need to I need to commission someone who knows Voxel Mancy to uh, to actually build me a caterpillar. In this game. Actually, inventory is empty. Yes, okay. So we can respawn. We're actually just gonna go ahead and take this load back. Because while we can fly at over 120 tons, I don't enjoy it. Yeah, see, it's, it's struggling now. Ugh. Oh no, don't list. Right. 
The engine's warm. And away we go. Oh, nope, we're stopping. There's a whole deposit right there. Let's grab that. That shouldn't be too much, especially if it's coal. Please don't be hematite. Please don't be hematite. button. That's why we've got it. <laughs> it's hematite. Oh. Alright. Alright. We'll do it live. We'll, uh, we'll make this work. I mean, it's not a big load of hematite, so we can probably just keep it in our inventory and that shouldn't affect our weight. about it oh yeah yeah it's only 11 tons so uh, we're good I think we'll be all right like as long as you have less than 20 tons on you I don't think it actually counts like your little space backpack kind of negates it Yeah, I can definitely feel the strain. Yeah, Maurice, it's a uh, it's a fancy space backpack, you know. Like this game has very loose definitions of fidelity. Like, for example, this thing has like 122 tons in it, I think, right now, and we're holding ourselves in place with retro rockets that are put on the top instead of the bottom. I mean, granted, that might be a beta thing that might uh, that might go away. You actually have to have retro rockets on the correct side. But yeah, uh, they they kind of pick and choose with the realism here. I mean, we're flying around in Lego ships. Like this thing's made of carbon. You can you can build a ship out of plastic. So. I, uh, I wouldn't say that the realism is ultra extreme. Flight model, maybe. Everything else, not so much. Ah, uh, yeah, that is... Uh, maybe? Yeah, zero gravity? Like, the planet we're on right now, it's only 0.2 G, so it's like one-fifth of uh, what we should have. You know, maybe I should actually keep this hematite and coal. Like, I probably should start trying to actually build industry. I just... 
To do it, I actually no, no, to do it because yeah, to do it, I have to get a territory control unit, and those are uh, how much are those? Oh wow, those uh are cheaper than I thought they were. Hmm, maybe maybe I should make a trip. Close? There are none close. Now, what about a scanner? Five million! Okay, so those have come down. Still don't have the money for it. But we can we can get closer. Still got that? Let's delete that. Okay, that way I can actually go back and pick that up. So yeah, we'll um we'll make it to five million by a territory scanner. That's what we'll do. Do some surveying. Hey Joel, have a good night, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Sleep well. Sleep better than I do. Sweet dreams and all of that. Yeah, that's what that's what people used to say. Back before that became like a, a weird threat in like 90s movies. Man, do you guys remember the 90s? It's just like like a swath of like European bands that had like a, a bubblegum pop female singer and then like a really awkward like deep voice dude doing like spoken word. Like you had like like Aqua and, and the real McCoy and God, there's there's more. Like, give me give me a second. Let me think. But there's tons more. Man, I, I miss Aqua. Are they are they still doing stuff? Do they still like tour or, or release albums? Oh Maurice, why? What are they have you doing at like ten o'clock at night? Like what what sort of like work from home night shift do they have you on? Yeah, so we're we're making a, a fair amount. Like mining isn't the most profitable thing in the world when it's tier one. Like if we were doing like tier two and three, we'd uh, we'd be in business. I actually, um, I made a trip to Thades the other day, and I, I mined some pyrite and brought that back, and I think that made over a million. I want to say. But at the same time, just like it was like 45 minutes to, to make the trip, and that was one way, so very, very tedious. A lot of, uh, a lot of Netflix. Sorry, I think I'm starting to shut down once again, and it's getting close to that time. So we might get uh, might get one more haul in us, maybe, and then I'll probably be calling it there. Oh, Maurice, that that sucks, man. I am sorry. Ugh. Do they do they have you like on call with it? Like can they just wake you up for that or is that like a, a scheduled thing? Mm, 
was hoping I could unload that chromite, but I don't I don't think I can. Alright, that's empty. Yeah, so we made about three or four hundred thousand off uh, off that trip. One step closer to our territory scanner. Getting some industry going. Oh that's true. Like you don't have to like go somewhere just uh just to do it. Space truck. Who's got this space truck? Do we do we have more here? Ah, oh, a reset? That's blowful. I'm so sorry. Middle of the night, get woken up for a, for a server issue. Actually, you know what? I should probably slow down since I am this close to the ground. What is... A Tito Mark I. Let's go check out what a Tito Mark I is. I just, I want to see. We got a dollar that is a Rex Speeder that uh, someone hit that canyon wall with. Eh, whatever it is, they've been mining near it. Oh, that's fair. I've I've had my my share of some uh, some crap tier jobs. Wow! Now that that is a compact speeder. Now I wonder Do they know that the wings don't actually do anything since there's no atmosphere They could probably save themselves some some weight. I mean it does look decent. I guess wow. That's um Wait, hold on Holy crap. This thing has an atmospheric engine. They use this thing to get from planet to planet That is ridiculous I would not trust that. Yeah, Russell, I would I would love to see that. Um Like especially, yeah, okay, yeah. So as fire just mentioned it the uh the derelicts. That would be super nice to see. I mean there's several like prefab ships in game. Like I know they'll be making more. Like, uh, you know how Space Engineers does it, where there's just, like, randomized, uh, abandoned ships you can come across. I don't know, Fire, I kinda, I kinda like that thing in a junker sort of way, you know? Mm, some mined out deposits there. I'll keep going a bit. Maybe not that far, though. You know, like, Space Engineers actually had that system where, um... You could actually find player-made ships out in space. Like, that other people had actually made. They basically just copied the designs 
and um, would seed them in. Whew. Yeah, I am starting to feel it. Sorry. It is about that time. I am trying to keep myself awake. The daytime is nice, and I, I miss it. Is that more quartz? It is always quartz, I swear. You think I think Hiroshi was right. Always quartz. At least it's easy to dig, though. Mm, no, hold on. Okay, so that's... That's about it, right there. Oh, wow, well, we're, um, on top of it. Nice. See, I should try going for the, uh, for, like, the deep ore. Like, there is some tier 5 ore on this moon called Columbite. But it is far down. I mean, I guess I could just try, like, a, a quick suicide run to see if I can find it. But it's very rare, so it might not even be, you know, in this hex. That's why the, uh, the territory unit helps. stuff. I mean, uh, the quartz? You know, it's not super shiny. <sighs> mm. Oh, yeah, I can, I can feel myself starting to shut down. I might just start calling it there, guys. I'm sorry, like, it is, it is finally really hitting me. More, uh, more than I want it to. Alright, make sure that's more in my inventory. Suicide back. I also like being able to carry a resurrection node with me, like putting it on a ship or, or wherever I go. Okay, yeah, so I think I think we're gonna have to call it there, because I am petering out. But we, we made it a bit longer than we did yesterday. Hopefully tomorrow we can make it to four the uh the full four hours and maybe I can stay awake uh, a bit longer, so 
I will catch you guys hopefully tomorrow. Everything all goes according to plan, so... Maurice, good luck with uh, with your server work. Hopefully it's not too much of a pain. Uh, for everyone else out there, enjoy yourself. Have fun. Good luck. Eat your vegetables. Stay dry. And until next time, keep on trucking. And have a good one. Good night.